Hello! This video is for Master Club kids um, that come on Wednesday night. And we really, really miss you. And we're going to just sing a few songs so you don't forget all of our songs. Um, now these posters, because of the way the camera is set up, is backwards. So y'all are going to have to be really smart tonight and read backwards. It's in everything, give thanks, like that. So I hope you can do that. I'm sure you can because I know you all are very, very smart. Um, but if you would, just sing along with us, with me, and um, we'll just sing a few songs and then, Lord willing, maybe we'll have a lesson on a different video. So we'll just sing a few of these. And you sing with us. Sing really loud. Maybe I can hear you all the way at Cashmere Baptist Church. See if you can do that. Okay, here we go. Oh, before, before we sing, never mind. Um, the Bible says, in everything give thanks. Should we give thanks for the coronavirus? What do you think? Should we give thanks for that? Yes, we should. In everything give thanks. There is a reason that God has this. So we shouldn't be scared. We shouldn't be nervous. We shouldn't be all bummed out because we don't get to see our friends and all that. Sometimes that's kind of hard and we get lonely and everything. But we should be thankful. We have more time to pray. Um, and we need to tell God thank you for what he does. Even if we think it's something bad, God has a reason for it. So that's what this verse talks about. In everything give thanks. So let's sing it. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. In Christ Jesus concerning you. Good job. Okay, let's do another one. Of course, we're going to read it backwards again. This is a soft answer. Let's see if I can get the whole thing in there. Okay, here we go. A soft answer turneth away wrath. A soft answer turneth away wrath. But grievous words stir up anger. Proverbs 15, 1. Very good. I hope you all are singing along. I really miss having you singing, though. I don't like singing this by myself, so when you come back, you're going to have to sing super duper loud for me, okay? All right, here we go. This is thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. So well, you all have plenty of time right now, unless your teachers gave you oodles and oodles and oodles of schoolwork to do at home. But you have more time to memorize the Bible and study the Bible. So we need to hide God's word in our hearts so that we won't sin against God. When we go to do something wrong, he'll say, mm -mm, remember I said this, you shouldn't do that. I said this in the Bible, do you remember this verse? And we'll say, oh, I forgot. I, I remember that now, so I won't sin against God. That's the way it's supposed to work. So anyway, here's a verse. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. That I might not sin, that I might not sin, thy word have I hid in mine heart. Very good. That is really hard to read backwards. I can see that. I hope you all are super duper smart. You can do that. This is a big one. I don't even know if it'll fit. Okay. God's love is like a circle. This is an awesome song. Okay, here we go. God's love never, ever ends. Just like a circle keeps going round and round and round and round. It doesn't end because if you, if you make a hole in it, it's not a circle anymore. God's love is like a circle. It just keeps going and going and going. So here we go. God's love is like a circle, a circle big and round. For when you see a circle, no ending can be found. And so the love of Jesus goes on eternally, forever and forever. I know that he loves me. Very good. Good job. All right. My voice is getting a little shaky because it's very cold down here. We didn't turn the heat on because that saves money while everybody's gone. 
So it's kind of cold, but I wanted to do it down here where you all remember us being. So if I start going, Boo, that's why I'm freezing. Okay, here we go. This is even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. And this is in Proverbs 20, verse 11. And I know you all know this one because we sang it in church. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. Again, even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. Again, even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. Good job. All right. We'll do one more and then I have two that we learned I think we learned them our last King or Masters Club time that we had here, and we'll just review those so that we you know, kind of remember those maybe a little bit. Okay, here's the one I know all of you like, but I need you to repeat really loud so I can hear you here because I don't have anybody here to repeat to me. I'll just do the first part and you repeat it as loud as you can. Here we go. He was in the world. And the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe. <gasps> On his name. Very good. That's in John 1, 10 through 12. Good job. I think I heard some of you all. I think you were being pretty loud. That's awesome. You're great. Okay. These are ones that we learned, but I don't, we just kind of started. So you don't know them really well. So we'll just do them again. And if you want to, you can even replay this and learn them, like play them over and over and over. And that way you can learn them even better before we get back together. Okay, here we go. This is talking about heaven. Heaven is a wonderful place. Heaven is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face. Heaven is a wonderful place. And that's the way it is. I can't wait to get there. So, here we go. Heaven is a wonderful place, filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face. Heaven is a wonderful place. Heaven is a wonderful place, filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face. Heaven is a wonderful place. Okay. And this is the one that we're going to try to sing in church. So tell your mommies and daddies not to listen right now because we're going to practice it. No, it's okay. They can listen. But we're going to have some of you all going, Heaven is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face. Heaven is a wonderful place. I want to go there. And while the other people are going, heaven is a wonderful place. So, and then we'll put them together and it'll sound so pretty, I hope. So that's, this is the one we're planning to sing in church next time. So if you want to practice the heaven is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face. Heaven is a wonderful place. I want to go there. There it is. So you can replay that one and practice that part too, okay? All right, this is our last one for tonight. Before we have game time, I wish we could have game time. I'm sorry. You all can jump around in your living rooms. You don't drive your mommy and daddy crazy though, okay? All right, this is the one. Set a watch, O oh Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. And I think we all need this one because sometimes we say things that we shouldn't say. And this is saying, put a guard, put a guard by my mouth. Don't let me say anything I shouldn't say. Keep the door of my lips. Don't let it open if it shouldn't open. And this is a prayer we should all pray. 
Lord, please help my lips. Guard my mouth. Help me not to say things that are wrong or unkind or disrespectful. We need to make sure that what comes out of our mouth is a good thing. So this is the one that we learned, but you all probably don't know it really well. But um, here it is. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Very good. And that's found in Psalm 100 and 141, verse 3. So that's a good verse. All righty. I'm going to go now and um, hope you all don't forget your songs. And I miss you all. And Lord willing, we'll see you in a few weeks. Bye-bye.